I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching the Watercraft Journal. C2 effectively opened up a world of convenient, easy travel with the introduction of its Link accessory system back in 2018. The collapsible mounting system allows the personal watercraft enthusiast an array of options to maximize the enjoyment and utility of their sea dew. Whether it's storing an extra change of clothes or a large beach blanket in the soft-sided storage tote, loading up plenty of drinks and snacks in the 4.2 gallon floating cooler, or packing an extra 3.8 gallons of fuel to push your day's ride just a little bit further, the Link system is easily one of the brand's best additions. Unfortunately, when it came to sea fuel caddy, certain concessions were required to be made in order to be sold worldwide. Of those was the incredibly restrictive filler neck. Admittedly, we broke off the restrictive collar and spring-loaded snout early last year and haven't regretted it. Well, okay, maybe a little. But thankfully, since we don't live in California, we're not concerned with complying with their draconian rules. So we're just gonna show you a very easy and cheap upgrade for your Link Fuel Caddy that almost anyone can follow as it won't spill a drop of gas on your sea -Doo, and best yet, it transfers fuel from your caddy to your ski twice as fast. From the factory, the Link Fuel Caddy is pretty great. The US Coast Guard approved marinized tank mounts snugly to all models equipped with the Link mounting brackets, carries 3.8 gallons of fuel, and even allows the Link watertight bag to stack on top for added storage. A rubberized boot on a durable tether caps the filler spout when not in use, and all hardware is treated to resist corrosion from salt water. Unfortunately, the locking spout just plain sucks. It's hard to use, particularly out on the water, and is absurdly restrictive. For a mere $10 at www.easypourspout.com, we picked up their flexible fuel spout and vent kit. The Easy Pour Spout itself includes a built-in flame arrester as well as a screw top cap and strap, and a push-in half inch vent and cap. The Easy Pour Spout also came with two different screw tight caps. A yellow cap is coarse thread and typically used for jerry cans and racing jugs, exactly what our fuel caddy required. Now as a bit of legal disclaimer, Easy Pour asked that its replacement fuel spout be used on gas cans prior to 2009. Again, this is to comply with hyper-restrictive carb outlines. The modification should really only be used by those of you not living in states and regions complying with these decisions. Check with your local authorities and parks departments to see what kind of fuel spouts are acceptable. Installing the Easy Pour Spout is as simple as removing the rubber cover, unscrewing the old cap, and removing both it and the locking collar from the caddy's threaded neck. The new spout installs easily. Simply slide the yellow cap over it and tighten it down. The spout's cap also screws on snug. Threading on the strap requires looping it around and sliding the barbed end into the cap's tab. Since we didn't require the rubber cap anymore, we removed the top using a Torx 30 wrench. The end tab of the rubber cap simply slips out of the base plate, allowing you to tighten it back on. The final step was installing the vent. As you're pouring fuel, you want the cap to be as opposite from the spout as possible. Equally, we don't want fuel to be able to spill out easily, so we chose to drill our hole on the furthermost corner of the top of the caddy. We first made a mark where we wanted to drill. Then we drilled a small pilot hole before running the half inch bit into the tank. Next, we cleaned up the edges with a razor blade, allowing the vent to be pressed in with a little bit of grunt. For added measure, we ran a bead of super glue around the edge. Not so much as a sealant, but to keep the vent from wiggling loose. From there, our modified fuel caddy was ready to go. Of course, the Link fuel caddy attaches to the back of our 2021 Sea-Doo RXPX 300 without the need of tools or any effort at all. Aboard the RXPX, removing the fuel caddy and pouring its contents into the fuel tank is just as easy. The flexible spout makes positioning the caddy much easier, and the open vent allows the entirety of the fuel caddy to transfer three gallons of fuel within 35 seconds literally two to three times faster than the old carb compliant spout. Now it's one of the easiest and fastest fuel cans that we've got. 
Again, this might not be for you, particularly if you live somewhere that is uptight about the kinds of filler necks your jerry cans happen to have. So please make sure to do a little background check to make sure you won't be issued a big hefty fine just for swapping out your fuel caddy spout. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching the Watercraft Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. It'll definitely help us grow the channel. And if you want more awesome content like this, please hit that subscribe button below as we publish new videos six days a week. Equally, please visit us at www.watercraftjournal.com where new and informative articles and reviews are published every day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription free to you.